What is up guys? How's it going? It's your boy Midnight Man bringing you guys another tutorial on the Elgato Game Capture and this time I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, capture device with a face cam. So you guys know how I, there's a lot of my videos on my channel that I play Call of Duty with and you guys see a little face cam in the corner like so. I got lucky. See, I, I just got to camp out here. It's the only way to win. It's the only way. There is no other way ladies and gentlemen. I, you can try any other way. You guys can hate right now, but I don't care. This is the only way to win. Come on, come on, come on! Fuck! So yeah, a lot of you guys have been wondering, well, how do I make a high quality video using the face cam and the Elgato Game Capture? Because the Elgato Game Capture doesn't really have a face cam supporting mechanism kind of thing. So. Um, first off, I'm going to tell you guys some things you're going to need. First off is the Elgato Game Capture and everything that comes with it, like the cords and TV. All, well, the TV doesn't come with it, obviously, but the cords. But you're going to need to have a TV as well, a, a PlayStation or an Xbox or whatever. And uh, also an HD camera or any kind of camera that you can use. Even an iPhone camera, just plop that thing down on the stand and that'll work too. So anyways, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so first off, I'll show you guys a quick setup that I have going here. I have my HD camera here, which will, um, you know, feature me sitting in this chair. And I also have the microphone here. I mean, it's not completely necessary to have a nice microphone for this to work, but uh, it's it's definitely a help. It'll make your video sound a lot better, and it'll it'll come out a lot nicer. You guys will see that during the end of the video. I'll show you guys how to do that. But um, yeah, microphones, that's highly suggested. And I'm not gonna go huge in detail on how to set up this Elgato game capture right here. I'll, I'll put a um, uh, annotation up on screen right now for you guys to check the video out to figure out how to hook this up with the PS3. I don't have anything for the Xbox, so sorry about that Xbox, guys. But um, this is the setup I have for the PS3 right now. Got the HDMI. Uh, that's right there. That's what is that? The HDMI. Yeah, it's the HDMI out going into the t TV. Got the USB cable going into the laptop, and also the multimedia cable going to the PlayStation. But I'm not going to do an in detail um, setup with the Elgato Game Capture right now for the systems. But uh, this is mainly for face camings. But I'll put a link in the description to my video of how to set up the Elgato Game Capture, which I know a lot of you guys have came from. Uh, so this is just an extension on how to use the Elgato Game Capture pretty much with a, a HD face cam video or whatever. And there I got my laptop down there. But first, before I get rolling in there, I got to uh, make sure my microphone's connected, which it is. Um, the other USB cable is from the Elgato. And one thing that I, um, I kind of just discovered, for a second I'm just going to raise this up a little bit, volume for that. Um, whenever you start your commentaries for this and you have a microphone connected, it's better to press this button after you start it recording. So once this turns orange, uh, your your uh, audio tracks and the video tracks line up a lot better if you press this after this turns orange. Like after you press record, then you turn on the live commentary because then your tracks will line up better. I don't know why. I guess it's a glitch with the Elgato software, but it works better. And yeah, that's just a helpful suggestion to you. So now I'm going to turn on my HD camera over here. And I'm going to press play, and that'll be its own individual track. And I will see you guys on my laptop. Alrighty, so now at this point, you should have your recording done from the Elgato Game Capture, as well as the recording from the camera. Either you use an iPhone or video camera like I'm using right now. But you should have both of those recordings. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my... Um, my uh, video editing software that I use, and, it, that, and that is Vegas Pro 12. Now there are also a lot of other really good video editing programs out there like Final Cut Pro, but um, this is the one that I learned very well and, and it's the one I'm also used to. So this is the one I'll be using for the video, but other video editing programs, it, it'll work just as fine. You could probably even use Movie Maker. I know that, I've used that before, and that works just as well. Um, maybe not as well as these higher up video editing programs, but it'll work if you're, especially if you're starting out trying to make base cam videos with a uh, gaming commentary. So now once you open your video editing program, what you want to do is you want to just make a new document. You may have already something saved up here, so you just want to click on that new button on the, on the left over here, especially for Vegas Pro. But uh, you'll have something that says Untitled at the top, and this is when you want to start putting in your files. So first, I'm going to go to uh, 
my folder here and this might be a little uh, bit hard to follow but um, one thing I need to tell you guys is that you guys need to get your memory card out of your camera or sync your iPhone up to your computer and by the way I'm using my laptop here is a it's a Toshiba satellite L855 if you guys were wondering that's the laptop I'm using to do all my editing for all my videos and it works very well I don't even have a desktop computer but this works very well for me I have no problems with it so anyways what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your files from your camera or your iPhone or whatever and put that into a folder you'll be able to find it especially in your videos file that'll make it really really easy to find once you're trying to start editing your video off of your software and with the Elgato Game Capture video, that should go into a folder that you have preset. And, the, and if you're not exactly sure how to preset where you want all your videos to go in your Elgato Game Capture, um, I, have, I have a video on that. It's the Elgato Game Capture setup video. It's I still have a link down below for it. Check that video out. Watch that entire video on how to use the Elgato Game Capture and set it the whole thing up with the PlayStation 3. And that should help you a lot. And, it, and I also go through how to preset your folder at the end of the video. So anyways, after that, I'm going to want to find my files now. So I remember where I put my um, my face cam video, and I have a folder named face cams right here, and I have a ton of face cams. I haven't really um, gone through all of them, but let's take a look here and see what I would like to take. Um, as you see, I still have some of the um, recordings from when I was uh, actually filming uh, the first part of this when I was actually getting the, uh, the game memory. But let's see here. We're going to choose 170, 00170. All right, so we have that file coming up. And let me see how long this video is, because that'll give me an idea to make sure I choose the right video that I recorded from the Elgato Game Capture. So as you can see, this one is about 10 minutes and 8 seconds long. So now I'm going to go find the folder that I presetted to get all my Elgato Game Capture videos inside that folder. So we're going to go to that folder now. And that, I know exactly where that is. I have it in newest gameplay. And it's going to be somewhere at the bottom down here. So I, I remember that my face cam video was about 10 minutes and 8 seconds. So I'm looking for a video of, of a gameplay that is around that same time as well. Let's take a look here. Alright, so I found a gameplay here that's about 10 minutes and 18 seconds long. Let's see how that one's 3 minutes and 33 seconds. That one's 10 to 50. But I'm gonna, I am have a gut instinct here that it's going to be this one here, the 10 minute and 18 second one, just because of how close in time reference that is. So we're going to take that video file and see what we get here. This one's going to take a little bit longer. It's in 1080p. So is the other one, but uh, I guess the gaming videos take a little bit more. It's in a different file format, so it takes a little bit longer to get up in here. Still building the peaks for it. I'm going to see if I can lay that on a track right now. So this is most likely the correct gameplay for it. Let's see if the uh, audio files kind of sync up a little bit here. Got to wait for the peaks. Still building the peaks. All right, the peaks are now built. So let's take a look here. Um, now this is the part where we want to sync up the gameplay and also the face cam. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna, you know, make these these uh, the, the tracks a little bit shorter in length, or at least in uh, width, so that it's uh, easier. No, we don't want that. So that's easier to um, to look at all together. So I'm just gonna make them shorter like that, like that. That's good. So now we can see pretty much everything. All right, so after I made these tracks shorter, what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna try to find where the face cam clip and the audio and the Elgato game capture clip and the audio line up together. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna like crop this down a little bit cause that looks really, yeah, cause the game capture was a little bit longer than the face cam. And we just gotta find a couple points to where I we can line these up. So it looks like, let's see here. This is where you have to experiment. This is the more difficult part, but it's a lot easier if you had 
your face cam and the uh, and you record it using a microphone from the Elgato game capture. Just like I'm doing now, I'm not gonna use this audio quality because it's a little bit, you know, airy and there's a lot of atmosphere going around, but I'm gonna use this. This is the microphone I'm using to get all of my voice and it sounds a lot better. So the entire video overall is gonna sound like a much higher quality video. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do some trial and error and figure out where these two files uh, meet together so, so I can line both clips together. So let's see where this goes. Let's see what we got here. Uh, gotta go with my strong suit. I love this diamond running Remington. Look at that. Hey, it's so bling edition. Oh, pause it. So just right there, I just lined it up. I, wow, that's amazing. I didn't think I'd actually be able to get that on the first try. Usually it's a little bit, you know, off a little bit. One clip will be a little bit ahead of the other, but luckily, that was perfect. I got them in perfect alignment right from the get-go. So now with that, I'll just unmute that, but really, all I have to do now is I'm gonna just going to, I'm going to delete that track from the face cam. I do not need that audio clip at all now. I just need the video clip, but you can't delete um, you can't just go over the face cam and right click and then click um, you can't just click the delete button on your computer or click the um, delete right here because that will delete both the audio and the video you don't want that so what you're going to want to do is just delete the track delete that audio track just right click that and delete the track it's gone and now I'm just going to crop trim this up right there so now that they're both lined up Perfectly lined up. Wow, this is going really good, guys. This is how you do it. So now they're both perfectly aligned, but we're not done yet. Now we have to actually put the face cam into the gameplay. So what I did is that I, I put myself on the left of the camera. So then whenever I can um, actually crop it, which I'm about to do now, I click the crop button, you just gotta give it a second to pop up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just widen that out a little bit. And I think that's a pretty good size. And then I'm just gonna drag it over, as I'm doing in the video, to the corner, like so. Maybe, should I make it a little bit smaller? I mean, it's pretty good. Like that, just like so. Just put myself in the corner, just like that. And I can exit that out. And that basically, folks, is all you have to do. This is ready to be saved. I can save it using this button up here on the left. Um, save it where, save the file anywhere I want. Or whenever I'm done with the entire thing, I can render the whole video going in the file. And then I can render as. And what the um, file formats that I always use are the 720p internet or the 1080p internet because those get you the best quality and it's good for YouTube. Yeah, these two right here, this one or that one. I usually do 720p because it makes the upload go a little bit faster because some places that I go, it takes like two, 300 minutes to upload or in other places it's a little bit faster but I always go with 720p. You always wanna have some kind of HD quality when you upload a YouTube video. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the gist of things. You can also add some effects uh, to it, to your, um, face cam and the uh, gameplay itself like I use color corrector I'll put that over my gameplay or not the gameplay but the face cam and then I'll increase the saturation just to make myself look a little bit better more colorful not that I'm already colorful enough but uh can do that and I can also add that to the the gameplay as well to make the because you know Call of Duty can be a little gray sometimes but uh I, I increase the uh saturation of that and like one thing um that i left out is that i usually crop the gameplay just a tad because if you can see there's a little bit of a, a black bar um up on the uh video clip itself on the uh, gameplay so i just usually crop that down just a smidge so that it is like you know the whole screen is filled just with gameplay no little black bars on the side so that is really, guys, how I go 
through my face cam gameplay, it's really not that hard. Um, if you guys really have, if you have, any, if you have any questions, just send me a comment down below. I'll be sure to read it or tweet me at uh, Midnight Game or Game Midnight. It's right here. Just go to that link. I'll follow you back. Um, you know, follow me on Twitter. Um, yeah, and, and send me your questions if you have any uh, for this video. But that really, guys, is the gist of it. It's all lined up. Uh, I got rid of the face cam audio clip because that just sounds really airy. You don't want to sound like this. You want to sound more like this, and it's it just makes the video sound so much better. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like. I hope it helped you out. I honestly do. Uh, I put a lot of time into this video, and I hope I hope you uh, guys can make some really nice uh, Elgato face cam videos uh, that you, you know, can make put, make for yourself on your own YouTube channel. So. That's the gist, guys. Any questions, send them on, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.